just finished um, Elena Caton's new book, uh, Burn and Wood, which comes out on the 2nd of March. Pretty sure it's the 2nd of March. I'd never read the Luminellis, so I was intrigued to pick this up for two reasons. One, because I'd never read anything of hers. And two, because the title interested me, Burnham Wood and all the associations that there are with Macbeth. So I was intrigued to see whether there were elements of it in this story. It's set in New Zealand and it features Mira, who has set up a guerrilla gardening group called Burnham Wood. And this group, they grow they go and plant illegally. They grow crops illegally, which they harvest and sell on. And any piece of land that is not being used is fair game for them. And yet it's using land that's not being used, but they are also trespassing at some certain times. So it's, it's an illegal thing that they're doing. When there's a landslide that cuts off the town village of Thorndyke. She thinks this is going to be prime location for them because on that in Thorndyke there is an abandoned farm which is enormous that belongs to this um, guy who's just been knighted, Sir Owen Darvish. So she goes off there to scout to have a look around and while she's there she meets um, a billionaire, Robert Lemoine, who tells her that he's bought the farm. Um, he's intending to put in an end of year, end of days bunker, but she and her group can do their planting and he will invest in the group, which is almost against the group's principles, but whatever. So this is the scenario that is at the beginning of the book. And can they, can either of them trust one another? These are the two main characters, Mira and Robert. You've also got Shelley, who is Mira's almost Good Friday, Good, Good Friday, Girl Friday. She does all the admin and stuff that Mira just can't be bothered with. But Shelley is getting disillusioned, so she's wanting out of the group. You've got um, Tony, who was part of the group, then he disappeared and went off doing other things for a few years and comes back. Um, not really to join the group, but he's a, a would-be journalist. He's looking for the scoop that will make him famous. So he is going off um, looking for his this scoop. So he's there. And each of them have the secrets. Each of them are manipulating. There's spying going on. There's manipulation. There's secrets. All their personalities are coming to the fore. And it does lead to a gripping ending when everything comes together because you've got Robert and Mira, do they trust one another? You've got Tony trying to find secrets and make this scoop and Shelley desperate to leave but being drawn in at the same time. And then the idea of Robert's investment in the group is that against the group's principles? So you've got conflict there as well. There are beautiful descriptions of New Zealand, of this, this area that they're in. And the ending, it is a, a gripping. This, this part three of the book is really gripping. It wasn't a five star for me because it was so, I found it so slow to start. I and I, I was just thinking, you know, when is this going to really spark my my interest? But it did get through the slow 
well, for me, it gets through the slow start and then it, it really sort of speeds up and you are dragged along with it. Um, on a side note, because of the Burnham Wood title, I, I was looking to see whether there were any Macbeth connections there, whether any of the characters were, you could relate any of the characters. I don't even think that that is her, the reason that she wrote it. And I don't think she's, I'd be intrigued to know, but I don't think that that is part of it. But, you know, I was there looking for the villain and I think I found the villain and I think I found a Banquo. I don't think I found a Lady Macbeth, but I don't think these, I don't think the characters were supposed to relate to them anyway. It was just me trying to project. Anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think when um, when you read it. For me, I found it a slow start, but as it carries on, yeah, cracking, because you don't know who you can trust and the characters don't know who they can trust and wham. So, happy reading. Take care.